And beloved church of God, if there's going to be revival in this nation, we need people that will blow the seven trumpet everywhere with the right sound. Your sound is not my sound. I had had BSc, uh, OND in electrical electronics, BSc in uh, computer science, MICT, Masters in Information Communication Technology. I had gotten a professional certificate, Microsoft Certified Professional, Microsoft Certified IT Professional, Microsoft Certified Vista Technologies, Microsoft Certified something, something. Technology Specialist or something, something. And then I was beginning to try to go more on the professional lane and I was delving into IT. I was already a system administrator in my office. I was being well revered, respected as one of the good guys, techie guys in the commission. I was, I mean, I was getting calls from head office. I was really sent. I was liked, you know, as in Koka is a great guy. You know. But then I stood and I said, excuse me. Before I finished the youthful part of my life, what will I do that through it I will put a mark on the earth that I was here? What will my life drive on the earth that after I have gone, I may go for that thing will still be there. And I asked, can I achieve it with IT? I hope you know that Faraday have achieved it with physics. Eh? Faraday achieved it with physics. I, do, I didn't meet Faraday. The only reason why I know Faraday, the person called Faraday is because they forced me to learn it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You just have to know Faraday. Do, how many of us you know Faraday before? You, and yet you have never met him. Your father never met him. And your children will still know Faraday. So what is... Then, then those things began to have value to me. That what we... When I say Ford, Henry Ford, we don't know him, but we meet him every day. Some of us drive him. So those things now began to make more sense to me that, look, look, there are many people that lived and left and left. There is nothing on the earth to show they came, even though they had money when they came. There's nothing left. Nothing. Even their buildings have been sold. Nothing left to show they came. And <laughs> what will I drive my life with? Which peg will I use my life to drive on the earth that after I've gone, that peg, it can I have driven it so much that the earth cannot eject it after I have been ejected. When the life that drove it has gone, that thing I drove with that life had been so driven that it can't, you can't remove it. If I say Bishop Oyedepo in the next 100 years, the way the thing is going, if Jesus studies, we still, you can't say you don't know him. You can't say he didn't come. And if you say he didn't come, they, they, they have pegs. What did I say now? They have pegs to show you that that life nailed down on the earth and is still standing. So many pegs. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I can be banging things on the earth and not driving 
anything. Say, what did you use your life to do? What did you use your life to do? I lived it. Uh -uh. What did you use it to do? So when you say, Mary's lesson, the reason why you said Kai is because that life was used to do something that remained. Are you hearing? That life was used to do something that remained. What am I going to use my life to do? Then on what pulpit am I going to stand to affect or make or inflict a mark on the earth? So I had two boxes. Number one was my IT career. Number two for me was ministry. If I chose IT, what that meant is that I will sell myself to it eh? and drive my life with it so much that, you know, <laughs> I will be so knowledgeable that the earth cannot ignore the knowledge. I will give myself to it. I will prioritize it as my core. You understand what where my mountain is, where my do you understand what I'm saying? And that's how it is for some people. If you say Bill Gates today, you can point to one or two things that showed that there was a life called Bill Gates. All right, there was a life. In fact, that life are just like and that life. It's just like any other person's life. It didn't matter where you were born. Yeah, so it didn't matter. But it, it was that person came out of campus and started driving something with his life. Started, of course, by spiritual understanding, you know that it must have been a spiritual activity behind it. You understand? Compelling that driving. All right, started driving something, 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 and little drops of water made a mighty ocean. I'm asking you. No, I think it was the boy that I just finished serving, and I said, What do you want to do? So, whatever you want to do, start thinking at the age of 30, ha, 40, ah. Let me not even say 50. <laughs> because 50, you. Some people actually started driving at 50. The person that did KFC started driving at, I think, 60, 65. 65. But he still used those five years. You know, but those kind of people, they use the 40 years to build the armor, two years to drive it. <laughs> eh? <laughs> it's, it's, it's still balanced and you can be driving it small, 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 small and then you can be building hammer, building hammer, building hammer and they say drive, you say don't worry when I'm done, I will just hit it down it will go down <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, that's those are people that that died driving at 65 uh, you know, they had the, the sledgehammer by the time they wanted to drive that when they just hit it, they bow. in five years the thing has entered until today, they are dead. We are still eating them. Little children born are learning Kentucky. What will I use my life to drive? This was a question I asked. And I told myself a sincere answer. At my age now, as a day, these small, small boys that are doing IT from 14, 13, 15, 16, before we reach them. <laughs> eh? I said, before, before we reach these small, small boys, eh? they are the ones even that are going to teach me the things I want to drive. Ah, I may not drive. <laughs> eh? 
I say I may not drive. Because I just look at all these small, small boys now. Ah! And, you know, let me look at the analysis. That's just one. Second analysis was, what part of my life was generating the most impact as at now? In terms of bringing the highest feedback. I'm just telling you how to realize some of these things. What part of what part of my life? What what what? Which of the things I am driving are bringing the highest level of f- feedback? And that ah, you touch me, you touch me, and I saw that it was finished. And then I saw that which one is looking like I have possibility and chance of even you know hitting. A sound that we travel for. So I, I, I didn't do a careless analysis. So I went to look at the highest position I could reach in my office. I saw that it was Registrar General, which, as at that time, was only open to lawyers. So the highest I could be was a director, as at that time. So I looked at, and even up to now, I think the highest I could be is a director. So I looked at uh, the director presently. <laughs> and I added years, like in the next 13 years. So I didn't need to wait for 13 years. I could see who I was going to be in 13 years. So when I looked at the director, I said, Kai. If I throw 13 years of my life into this place, this is what I will become. I will become a state supervisor of a commission among many commissions in one nation. Somebody that when you can say director ICT is here, is only known by 1,500 staff scattered across a nation. Not even 1,500 staff. It's only known by 400, 300 staff belonging to his department scattered across a commission. And it is when he enters suit and he comes there like this that they meet him. And he said, Director, go to Federal Ministry of Housing and say you are looking for director, the director in this other commission. And they, they say, with that one, it's not, I beg. Go to Google. All they are going to say about him is just where he is. I said, no, sir. I will not be local. For me, because I had that. You see, some there's a way you can be local in a correct place. That from that correct place, yeah, you become global. For example, Dora Kunidi hit something with her life in a local ground. That sent splashes across the earth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I saw that, okay, this thing is not for me. I knew that, okay, this ministry, if I throw myself into it very well. I saw that I began to do analysis and I saw that I have called meetings and people that don't know me from anywhere found themselves in those meetings and they said, I don't even know what brought me here. You know, there are some things we don't call miracles. But actually, they are actually more than some of the things we are calling miracles. Somebody was walking on the streets of Bielsa and looked into a gutter and saw a tract. Don't break that gate. And turned back, bent inside the gutter, picked the tract, read the tract, and for the first time in her life, started traveling to a place called Ogun State, Shagamu in Ogun State, to attend the meeting from a flyer in a gutter. And has never read Ogun State before. So if you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about something that drove a whole bus, two bus loads of people from Plateau State to come to Shagamu for the first time because they had an encounter with the voice of God in the life of a man. Excuse me, you can't tell me I am not carrying something. If I give myself to that thing, that is the question now. 
if I if I give myself to, I think it was my friend that was, that was telling me how he resigned. He resigned one month or two months to wedding. It's just that he did not tell anybody. He was going out. He, he, the only person he told was his wife. He was going out of the house with suit and tie and resuming back in the house after closing. Because nobody can hear that our boy that is about to marry, that we are boasting that, oh, he's walking in. So whenever they are saying he's walking, they say, <laughs> 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 he said he, he, he was in Abuja, he was walking. And he was staying in one of his uncle's house. And then he, he started feeling dissatisfied. We started feeling. Then he got the invitation to Ibadan. He flew to Ibadan, did the meeting, and when he was coming back, he was coming back with like about three times the salary he was getting for a month of wearing tie and running all over the place. So when he got back to Abuja and he went to pick that job because he felt the call of God was to do something in Abuja. So that's why he picked a job in Abuja. He sensed that God was trans, trans, uh, trans, uh, relocating him to Abuja. So as he got to Abuja and he started thinking of, you know, of quitting and just facing. But the only other obstacle was wedding. How do you tell in-laws that I just left work to marry your daughter? So, so the, only, the only problem was wedding. So he said, it was a challenge. Then the company now said they are promoting him. And uh, you know when you want to start doing something, they are promoting him. And for that promotion, they are sending him to Lagos. It was at that junction that he had to make a decision. So I didn't pick job here because of money first. I picked job here because I was a call here. Now you are sending me to Lagos to give me more money. No. He just wrote the resignation letter. The only person he told was the woman he wanted to marry. Madam, are you ready to still marry me like this? And in tears, because the woman too did not have job. So two jobless people got married. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, you know, you're laughing. But well, you see, if you, there are two, two jobless people got married. That people thought they have job. Because the person who was staying with you would just say, ah, wake up same time. Then he would go and stay under the garden in one of the parks in Abuja. Then when it's closing time, he would go back home and say, I was working out fantastic. It was a very, very good day. And sometimes he would go to the hotel lobby. Nobody charges you much for some hotel. He would spend their, enjoy their AC, dress well so that nobody would think, you know, something. So I mean, dress well. And with nice suit and tie, you can stay in the lobby for one hour, <laughs> you know, before they come and meet you to say, uh, Alpha, you know? So. He did that. And then they got mine. Two jobless people. Praying four hours every day. As a, as a schedule. And the rest is history. You know, several products have come out from that place. Several churches have been battered. Several, you know, several. That, that, that's, that's somebody that has bought a facility in, in UK. For a church. Bought. Bought, you know. The first facility of the ministry that I know in UK, but and and that's how God has moved them from Abuja back to the same Lagos and from Lagos back to UK. What am I? What I'm just saying is that, eh? and you see, this Facebook is a very bad book. Every day you wake up, you are seeing people driving something with their life. Then the question starts coming to you: What? Who are you? What are you doing with your life? See, let me tell you something. Sometimes you may need to short Facebook and face your own book. All right? 
you may need to shut Facebook and just face your own book. I said, look, I may not have this. I may not have that. But there's something I have. I have a life. I may not have money. I may not even have husband yet. I may not have child yet. But I have something. What do you have? I have a life. I may not have car yet. I may not have... But I have something. I have a life. I can do something with that life. The only Ama people used to drive a peg into the earth that their name never vanished is their life. What are you doing with your life? What are you going to do with that life? Sometimes we concentrate on many things we don't have at the expense of what you have. You have a life. Jesus said, what I came to do is to plant my life. And that's what he did. He just came to plant the life he had. And he had that life both back and several other people had life from his life abundantly. And that life he procured for us, we now have it. We have that life. The question is, what are we to do with that life? Listen, I was telling my son, I said, hey, let's do this. I said, I, said, I said, look, my guy, at the age of 70, some of the things that matter to you now, that give you joy, of I have a brand new laptop, I have a, uh, I have a brand new uh, phone, I have a iPhone 720, I have something, something. To an 85 year old man, iPhone 10, iPhone so is panang 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 is the ringing tone. Is that all those things are not the things you'll be shouting about? I got they'll say, Papa, what happened? My phone. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let me tell you what you'll be prioritizing. My leg is no more aching me. <laughs> eh? Ah, my daughter. Hey, I can walk, oh, my leg. I woke up this morning I, and I stretched it and it stretched. You are like, eh, uh-huh, so? I said, ah, you don't know the value of what I just said. That I can stretch this leg. Finally. Ah, help me to thank God. I'm so happy today. Say why? My leg is stretching. I'm able to pee now without struggle. I can throw a party on that at the age of 80. The things that are exciting him. If he is excited, if somebody comes to say, Papa, I just got this, 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 this now. Thank you for investing in my life when I was a nobody. Kai, those are the things that are giving him joy. What he has used his life to do. You are the people, it's people that are saying, ah, he has an aircraft, he has something, something, he has this, he has that. All those things they are saying he has are losing value every day as he's going down. Because a man will walk out of this earth naked. You are the one that don't realize that he's going to walk out with those without any CFO to those things. Oh, no ownership. You are going to get out of this life with zero ownership. You are only borrowed a life. To do something with that life, not just to have something with that life. Because whatever you have with that life will be removed from you. It's not part of the stock. It's called zero unit. Zero unit. Zero unit. Zero unit. Zero unit. Zero unit. So it's not, I can't use my life to pursue a car. Zero unit. What am I using my life? I would, you know. Hmm. So, as I did looking, bringing that now into ministry, because ministry itself is broad. Which peg? So I start concentrating now that I am looking at mirror and I'm seeing one gray something somewhere. I start concentrating. <laughs> I start concentrating and, you know, I start concentrating on what exactly 
am I supposed to achieve before the last time I breathe in oxygen? And I have to go. Can I ask you to just bow down your head and pray with me? It's a thought that I brought here. It's a burden. What am I doing with my life? What am I going to drive with my life? What is my life going to be defined by? What would they say he did? What would they say God brought him for? What would they say God saved him for? What will his salvation have achieved? Where are the dividends of where he poured his life? Where are the people in whose life he poured his own? What came out of his life? In Jesus' name, we are prayed. It's a thought that I want you to read it in. Because as he's talking about her life, he's also talking about home. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can bring it to home. Then you can bring it to my children. Yeah? You can bring it to what did he do? What kind of... Ah! That, 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 that uh, Susanna Wesley. Kai. That woman practically just came to give the word children. I'm telling you, Susanna Wesley, she, she came to just, the, all they knew her for was what she batted. People that came out of his house. Such a woman as Jochebed. Three national leaders from her womb. Moses, Aaron, Miriam. One woman. Now she born prophetess. Now she born prophet. Now she born the priest. One house. Don't tell me she is a tailor. What? What? what, 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 what <laughs> who remembers the law? Don't tell me she used to sell grass. Well, and do you know she may have been selling palm oil? Eh? But that is zero unit. Yes, sir. She may, there is no unit. Whereas she may have been spending four hours of her life every day on palm oil business, which is needed, is compulsory, but it's zero. It's compulsory to sustain, but it's zero. It's not that's not where the unit are. But when you talk about she hid the child. Abba. And she raised a girl that has enough sense yes, sir. and spirit to monitor a baby on the sea. Abba. How are you talking about here? Yeah. Who trains a girl like that? That has enough sense. And they didn't tell her the script. She is the one that received it from God. Let me call a nurse. Ah, ah, which kind of sense? I'm sure when, when Joker, when Miriam got home, I said, Mommy, 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 something has happened. The daughter of uh, Pharaoh, daughter of Pharaoh, it's a daughter of Pharaoh, hey, daughter of Pharaoh. Say, No, 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 come on, me, calm down, calm down. Yeah, I mean, daughter of Pharaoh, daughter of Pharaoh, daughter of Pharaoh wants to carry Moses. I said, I don't understand, they want to burn him. No, Mommy, Mommy, daughter of Pharaoh wants to. The, the daughter of Pharaoh wants Moses to be a baby. Eh, 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 ha, eh, how? She, 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 she liked the baby. Ha! The, the, the daughter of Mo Pharaoh has collected Moses to be a child. Say, yeah. ha. So Moses is not on the, he has not drowned. No, Moses is not drowned, mommy, mommy. Moses is now in the hands of Pharaoh's daughter and Pharaoh's daughter is playing with Moses. I said, hey, praise God. Then I said, I'm going to come and call you. Say, hey, you told me I'm a mother. He said, no, 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 no. I did not tell her you're a mother. Say, hey, you said you are going to call her mother. No, 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 mommy, mommy. You said, oh, mommy, no. I said, you are a Nurse. Hey, I'm a nurse. Yes, mommy. Let me tell you when you get there, you are a nurse. That's a word. And then the mother acted the daughter's script. 
You see, there are many things in that story that we are not. You, if you don't play that, you don't realize. It's just, so you put a child on water and your your daughter is monitoring, and then your daughter came running. As you see the daughter running, say, yeah, he has died. <laughs> You say crocodile, crocodile? No, no. You say Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh! I say, no, 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 no. Oh, and then she went to act. And do you imagine? Raised Aaron, raised Moses, raised Miriam. And we didn't hear Joker bed again. We didn't hear Joker bed again. We didn't hear Joker bed again. But. <laughs> You had everything to trace to Jokebed. Everything to trace to Jokebed and Amram. Everything to trace to the two guys. The two, that couple, my God. Are they the only ones? One house. God found the prophet. Same house. God found the priest. Same house. God found the prophetess. The mystery came from that same house. So marriage itself. Some people, some couples coupled and they just decoupled. So, <laughs> some people <laughs> coupled and they coupled many things with their couple. Can we be intentional about life? That's what they call the purpose dream. Huh? Intentionality. Now, what is this life going to be described about? They say, describe morning in one word. What, what did she do? What did she live for? What did, and all around the world, you're seeing us surrounded by people who are just living to live. Their greatest desire is to have something to enjoy life. The reason why they are going to school is to have something to enjoy life. The reason why they are learning a skill is because they want to, they want to be able to make money. Why do you want to make money? I want to live well. Why do you want to live well? I want to live well to live well. Why do you want to live? So the question I want you to turn to your neighbor and ask is, Hello, neighbor. You want to die? Collect an answer. Do you want to die? Collect an answer. Eh? Make, make sure, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor the answer. Do you want to die now? Do you want to die? Do you want to die now? Then ask your neighbor another question. Why don't you want to die? Do you know that? Do you know? <laughs> Praise God. Why don't you, why don't you want to die? Why don't you want to die? You know, it's actually a personal question. Why don't you want to? Excuse me. Please listen. Please listen. Why don't you want to die? You know, one day we were in a something, maybe I was driving and a truck was coming and I said, Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I, 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 I think it was my wife. I said, ah, Pray, God, God saved us. God saved us. I said, ah, My dear, you don't want to die. <laughs> then I asked, I said, Why don't you want to die? Then it was another day. It was me that I was in a very strong risk. I think I, I, there, was, there were days that I actually had a bad vehicle and f facing an oncoming vehicle and my 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 engine went off and i narrowly escaped a truck and when i got to my said, praise god ah oh thank you thank you thank you my wife was like thank god thank god i said ah, my wife you don't want me to die he said, Say you, me and you will carry all this book at that. All these children, their school fees and everything. You want to die, no way. 
You cannot die. I say so. My dear, it's not like you love me. Oh. He said, he said, shut up. He said, look, you shall cannot die. Forget love. You can't die. You can't die. Oh. So, so I saw that. And I told her, I said, look, you see, this is why you don't want me to die. It's because of school fees. And all these things. And all this, all this bukata that she said. She said, you're part of me. I said, but why shouldn't I die? Why don't you want to die? Why do you want to die? Why don't you want to die? You know, it's the same question. It's actually the same question asked in, in different ways. Back and forth. Why don't you want to die? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I will not die. I will not die. I will. Why? 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 Those who are crucified in Christ Jesus do not fear death. Why don't you want to die? There must be a reason. A man like you stood up and said, I'm in between two opinions, whether to go or to stay. My God. If I go, <laughs> he said, if I go, he says, it pays me to go. It pays me to go. A man like you and I said, it pays me to go. He said, but, but for you, for your sake, let me, let me stay a little bit. So what exactly is your life about? And you know, the best time to hear this message is not 75. Is when? Now. Actually, yesterday. But worst, worst case scenario, still better now. I'm telling you, start having a shift of the old man while you are young. It will maximize your age, your old days. People live long. God give us long life and prosperity. Hip, 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 hooray. Why? You see? Long life. Long life and prosperity. Why? Why? Jesus, Jesus left at 33. If you are telling Jesus, in the name of Jesus, eh? Jesus. <laughs> you, you, Peter tried it. Say you will not die. Jesus said you are Satan. You are telling me I will not die. When I'm supposed to die. What am I doing, doing here? You are, doing, you are thinking thou savest not the things that be of God. You are you are carnal, you are earthy, you are worldly, you are thinking like a normal, a carnal, earthy human being who has no taste of eternal life. Abba. He said, Get, get out from me, Satan. Get behind me. I'm going to die. The Son of Man will be lifted up. I will be, I will be, I will be crucified. I will not just die. I will be terribly killed. And that is the will of God for my life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So that's that's what he said. That's what he said. So the the value. So where every day now starts counting. What are you doing with your life? It makes you self supervise. It makes you. I, when you go to the, that's why I say when you go to the ministry, you see people just sit down, and they just sleep, and they just wake up, and they just clock the time. When it is closing time, they clock out and they are getting the money. As far as they are concerned, so till Friday, and then they can spend 30 years like that. The same 30 years that some people use 10 to touch the earth. They can spend 30 years like that. Another person will be in that same ministry with this same, with this mindset. And will be carrying books, 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 books. And after 10 years, he says, I want to resign. 
government has given me enough time to read with pay. So I'm with free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Some people are there. There is no work. They are using the Wi-Fi for entertain for 25 years. And then when the government has finished with their bones, they tell them they are due for retirement. What is that life about? What is that life about? What's that? What can I put? Is I look at it like a cup, like a cup that that song I sang on the burial on the road to the burial ground of my father. It, 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 I, I, we sang it in Yoruba, but it's a it's an English hymn now too. Si be ala le ni mufi ojo konsu monde. What that means is, every night, I am using one more day closer to my end. I'm one day closer today than yesterday. Another one day closer tomorrow. As I'm saying good morning, another one day closer. When I say happy bad day, another one year closer. When will the last day come? What will I have done with my life at that time? When the owner of life says, Ah! The way I rang that bell, it did something to me. <laughs> when the owner of life comes one day and says, Shegu Koka! I say, sir, you know that way they ring bell when we're in prim- when we're in primary school. It's, it's, when you anywhere you are, you lose composure. <laughs> you lose this and uh, composure. If you are buying donut and you hear uh, everything, you wrap up one day from heaven. And your rings are different years. Not everybody reaches 70 before your rings. When the bell, you know, it's not a plant salmon, but when that bell rings for you, I say, Lord, I still have five conferences to do. Lord, that book, I've not finished writing it since 1945. Lord, that song, I just finished writing the chorus. Go, 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 go. How are we going to publish this book? This is super story. The person ringing bell says, my guy. They send me my ring bell. I don't know book. I don't know song. My I, and as I they ring this bell, you, you are ringing. You are done, sir. Time up. Say, but what about say you had enough time? I want you to bow down your head and pray. You know, a sounding closer and closer. Sometimes it's not death. Sometimes it's a face. Sometimes it's a time in a location. Sometimes it's your days as a single. Sometimes it's your days without a child. Sometimes it's your days without a husband. Sometimes it's a days without the breakthrough. Sometimes it's your days in Abekuta. Sometimes it is your days in a particular place. Sometimes it's your days in a particular office. Sometimes it's your days pursuing your career. Barabela Ketoshik Brastoka Ladaki. And that bell sometimes rings for our family members, for our parents, 
and we had enough time to have related with them. Sometimes it's the time to start the work. Say by the time when you ought to have been teachers. By the time when your spirit man ought to have been prepared and ready. And very soon, special mentorship session. He said, brother, I, I didn't. I said, the time has finished. You should have been built. You should have been ready for this. Holy Ghost, please help us. Now this life that we have, which is the life of God in us, will be used well. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen.